Okay, good? All right, so the nice thing about a Bohr diagram is this is n equals 1, 2, 3, and 4. So if this was hydrogen and you had an electron here, just like our flame test, if we heated up that metal or whatever it was, we could excite this electron and have it go to another energy level. And out of the two, you know, which of the two, if it went to this level, which one receives more energy? This one or this one? Stop there. Great. If it went from N1 to N3, this one went to N2. If you supply it with heat like the flame test, eventually after it loses that energy, it'll fall back down. And then when it goes back down, it will emit and give off energy in the form of a wavelength. And that's when we saw the light. That, that's the whole flame test. So the, the nice thing about Bohr in its model is it shows you how the energy can be um, Transform from the electrons back down to light and, and even wavelengths and frequencies with the, with the problems on the quiz. So, not that this is going to be on the test, but for the eight that you pick, okay, I'm going to have you pick anything over uh, potassium 19 and pick any eight. So, I'm going to do one example. I'm going to pick calcium, which is atomic number 20. On your sheet, it says to put in the nucleus the number of protons. So, it's atomic number 20. Okay, so protons are 20. The mass number is 40. Yeah, you guys know use this as one of your eight. Um, 40 minus 20, so neutrons is 20. And now we have to place the electrons. <coughs> now, you gotta place the electrons with respect to the quantum mechanical model, even though you're doing more. In other words, you can't just go, okay, uh, one, this is n equals one, one s two. Okay, now I go to principal energy 2, 2s2, 2p6. Okay, so 2s2, 2p1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, now I've got the eight electrons there, and I'm right here. I've got to get to 20. So I'm going to go to 3s2, 3p. So I'm going to go 3s2, 3p1, 2, Three, four, five, six. Now, if you go back to the sheet that I gave you, and it's actually on my left sheet too, uh, it's actually 3D10, so it can hold up to 18 electrons. But you don't just blast through and fill up three, because remember, you gotta take down the four F2 first. So right now, We've got 2 and 8 for 10, and another 8 for 18. Now I go to 4s2, 19, 20, because I have to fill 4s2 before I go to 3d10. Okay, so that's calcium for drawing right there. Okay, now, if you wanted to, you, I mean, you, you could pick whatever you want, but why don't you just go to the next one and pick, uh, Scandium. Scandium is 21. So you're going to change that and you're going to have one more electron. Where's that electron? <coughs> you have to go in, you have to go up to the next level, which is 3P, which is actually back down to this one and add one electron. And if you went and you wanted to do titanium, you're going to add another one to 3 until 3D can full. So you're not going to go and fill up 4F. You're not going to add any more than 2 to 4s until you get 30. Make sense? Okay, stop.